Hello again, of course. Today with me, um, I'm going to do a quick review of the Formula One 2018. It's actually been released about a month ago. I just actually um, had the time to make a review on it. Um, so let's get it. This is actually the um, the new uh, game for the 2018 season. It's one thing about Formula One. They always come out really late into the season and only. We have few more races left, um, the USA Grand Prix, the Mexico Grand Prix, the Brazilian and then all the way to Abu Dhabi. Um, so it's only about four more Grand Prix left and so far as of October 2018, October 9, uh, Lewis Hamilton is basically uh, in dominance and you know, inching closer to win the title yet again, his fifth career title. So um, let's look at Formula 1 2018, the official video game. This is the career mode where you can actually select teams um, to actually uh, race in a season. I'm going to go for McLaren and then you can choose your driver. You can go for Fernando Alonso and then you can just actually um, change your weekend settings. Uh, driver proficiency, um, all the traction control. Uh, and of course gameplay settings as well as the um, AI drivers uh, hardness level, race distance, formation lap and even qualifying practices as well so this is pretty normal stuff um, let's go to other features, Grand Prix uh, similar thing uh, now we're talking about they still maintain the classic cars and modern Formula 1 cars uh, we got Mercedes, uh, Sakidia Ferrari, Red Bull, Force India, Williams, Renault, Formula One team. Uh, you also got the, you know, for the 2018 uh, edition, you got the safety net for the drivers uh, for the Formula One. Um, previously, it was not uh, there. So these are the liveries for 2018: Alfa Romeo, um, Sauber, Mercedes, and for the classic cars. Let's actually see. We've got 1972 Team Lotus, 1976 Ferrari. This is, of course, Nicky Lauda. And you also have a new feature this year round, which is Formula One 1976 McLaren by James Hunt. So, this will be the new uh, feature uh, 1978 Team Lotus, 1979 Ferrari 312. I think this is also a new, new car. I did not. I think it's a new car, of course, not see this car in the last edition, 1982 McLaren, 1988, a very famous McLaren from uh, Arkin Senna, and uh, of course we go on to 1991, 1982 Williams, 1995 Ferrari, also uh, the second appearance, 1996 Williams, and of course another one which is 2002 Ferrari, another new edition here, 2003 Williams FW25. Which is, I think, uh, driven by um, Rob Schumacher and Juan Pablo Montoya back in the 2003 season. It's a very, very, very dominant car design. Uh, second best to Ferrari and McLaren. 2004 Ferrari, the you know, worlds are uh, the best, I think, era for Formula One. The best, most successful car. 2006 Renault, 2007 Ferrari, 2008 McLaren, and a new edition 2009 Braun GP from uh, Jensen Button winning championship winning car 2010 Red Bull so there are the uh, selection of cars multiplayer time trial event um, and of course championships championship points uh, you got 2018 Formula 1 classic championships sprint championships so these are all uh, different type of championships which are actually um, embedded in the Formula 1 uh, the classical dual championship when you unlock uh, invitational events are actually um, events which are much more uh, specific uh, this one for instance is in France overtake challenge for the for the uh, in the selected car 2004 Ferrari so you got different different types of challenges which also was in the similar similar case and was in the previous Formula 1 games I think um, not much has really changed um, so let's get into the nitty-gritty of it gameplay itself 
I'm gonna go start with the modern car first. Maybe I'm going to go for Lewis Hamilton. I'm going to be playing uh, in the new circuit, the France uh, Circuit for Ricard. Uh, as you can actually see this time around, this is the new track. They have um, eliminated the Malaysian Grand Prix, which is the Sepang International Circuit. Uh, so that is actually one classical Grand Prix. But this one, the new one, is the Paul Ricard Grand Prix, which had the last time uh, held in Formula 1 racing was I think back in the 1980s I'm not sure but I, I believe it's in 1980s somewhere so I'm just gonna go forward and play a five minute lapse just to see how the car feels so this is the circuit um, I would say that not a lot of changes overall I think it's um, if you ask me it's it's pretty much the same thing, not much of uh, changes uh, as a regular Formula 1 uh, gaming fan would want to have. Satisfying game. You know, successfully um, been in par with what the fans really want. It's that time once again, the final moment before lights out and the charge so down to turn one. Who will intros. come out on top at Paul Ricard today? Really we'll find out soon perfect, as the French Grand Prix gets underway. So light clouds today in the Paul Ricard Grand Prix. A lap of Paul Ricard then consists of 15 corners and a total length of around 3.6 miles. Drivers will need to position their cars carefully on the exit of the flat out turn so, 10, ready um, for the double apex right hander at 11. I Watch out for potential overtaking circuit. action at the, the end of the start factor. finish straight it's and into the heavy braking circuit. zone of turn 8. Uh, I for one can't wait to get started. And there's another very excited little chap here beside me as well. It's our very own Anthony Davidson. Great to see you again today. So the intro Thanks for that, Crofty. Really and I'm really anxious to get underway here. Let's We've got all the, the makings of a great race today. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Kimi Raikkonen's perfect lap yesterday sees him start from pole position. So I'm not going to waste a lot of time, let's go to the Right, car let's be setup. patient going into turn one. We want to be in a good position for the rest of the race. Good luck. So you got hello, 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 Yeah. 